y'all. It's iHeart Page, also known as Paige Leanne, and welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, definitely don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell so you won't miss out on any of these notifications, and let's get this started. Okay, y'all. So, I know I said I was going to come back with a video on this product review this leave-in conditioner it's new i was in walmart one day and i seen it and i was like hey why not let me give it a try y'all know i'm so picky with leave-in conditioners i've actually used it before so i'm not gonna sit up here in line and say like this is my very first time using it but i've only used it one other time so this is my second time y'all and i figured i would do a video the first time i was doing a video and i ended up saying i was just gonna do it in a whole separate video so i could focus on just this product okay so i'm starting off on my hair freshly washed conditioned and this is the product so it is by suave um it's new with natural shea butter and pure coconut oil and it is the leave-in conditioner they also had the um shampoo and conditioner I literally had the whole product line in the cart. I think it's the shampoo, leave-in, I mean, conditioner, leave-in conditioner. If I'm not mistaken, they had like a curl pudding or curl defining cream. And I had everything in the cart. And literally, I put everything back but the leave-in conditioner. And I stuck to my favorite shampoo and conditioner, which y'all already seen that video on my staple leave-in, I mean, shampoo and conditioner. Not too so. sure if my parts are going to be super neat and clean in the back. Honestly, I don't really care. <laughs> but um, I'll be lying if I said I did. Now, if I was going into a protective style for like box braids or something like that, I would be focusing more on the parting. But yeah, I'm just not feeling it. I don't really care today. So I'm just going to try to do the best I can do. Okay, so once I think I have a nice section in the back, I'm going to go ahead and mist it. And I'm going to go in with my wide tooth comb, detangle, because I kind of already finger detangled when I was doing my conditioner, rinsing my conditioner out at the sink, because I did my hair at the sink again today. And I'm just going to do two braids in the back so i'm gonna start with this side so here is again the leave-in conditioner i'll be using <sighs> y'all the smell is amazing it really is i know a few people have still been watching my video on the shea moisture leave-in conditioner and they're saying that like they don't like the smell i do like the smell is what's weird um it's not the best smell when it comes to all my other products but i do like the smell of it and it gets the job done so this is definitely another one i love this smell i do think this one smells better than the shea moisture though okay so it's pretty creamy because as you can tell, it's not coming off my finger. I'm trying to let it drip off to show y'all the texture, but it's definitely pretty creamy. Let's see. So I'm just going to use a good amount, probably not even that much, like that much. I'm going to go in on larger sections in a little bit. I just want to show y'all on this section. A smaller section so you can get my drift of how it does with my defining my curls and all that good stuff so there is the definition y'all literally y'all just seen all i did was put that amount my hair is super defined i love the feel of it that's another thing it's so creamy i'm a sucker for creamy leave-in conditioners i don't like the real runny ones but I'm a sucker for creamy leave-in conditioners. And this is one. And now that I'm already recording, I can tell y'all the first time I used this product, it was amazing. My hair stayed moisturized. That was when I did the bun, if I'm not mistaken. No, it was before that. Yeah, it wasn't the time I did the bun. 
but my hair the slick back but on my last video <laughs> but my hair stayed moisturized for so long y'all it was amazing okay so then i'm just gonna go in and lock in that moisture with my diy this is my um shea butter if y'all seen that video i use a good amount i make sure i coat my ends first and then i work my way up this one smells so good because this is my first time ever using rosemary in one of my diys and i love it y'all so look at that that definition is crazy so i'm gonna go ahead and just finish up with this protective style and speed through and kind of show y'all and touch up at the ending and just stay tuned so all i'm doing right here is i'm starting off by of course sectioning my hair off and then i'm braiding at the roots to basically elongate the twist and give it that nice sleek look at the roots of my hair and then i'm just going to twist the ends so i kind of would braid it halfway down and then i would twist the other way down so that is pretty much all I'm doing. And then I'll just twirl the ends around my finger and let them have their natural curl. And yeah, that's it. Okay, y'all. So here is the finished look. Um, I ended up just doing something with my edges and I just popped this bandana on like a headband. I'm gonna let y'all check out the back. So nothing too fancy. But I figure for about a week, this will last me until I'm ready to go into a protective, protective style. One that will last me for about two weeks to a month. So I figured this would be good enough for the moment. Um, I ended up just taking and putting my twist into two pigtails. And then I kind of twist the two pigtails together and met them in the middle and then bobby pinned them. So, if that makes any sense, y'all. Either way, like I said, it's going to last me for about a week. And that's it, y'all. So, next week, I'm planning on going into protective style. Probably the beginning of next week. And, yeah, because I have a very important appointment coming Wednesday. And I'm going to tell y'all more about this appointment in my next video. Because I just had to, y'all. I'm going to have to rant and vent and tell y'all how everything happened with getting this appointment Wednesday is so crazy. So y'all stick around for um, my next video, which will be a story time video. Till next time, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Definitely be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share, sharing is always caring. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.